Megan Hooper here. I hope you're having a beautiful summer day. I am going to do an indoor tutorial today because it is wet outside. It's been raining hard all day. Um, but I do want to teach you a move that I fell absolutely in love with when I discovered it, and that is a smear versus a pendulum. So prerequisites for this tutorial is a gyroscope. I have a tutorial for the gyroscope. I will link it in the description box below. Um, the reason I want you to learn this is because the move that I'm going to teach you, the smear versus a pendulum, is a variation of the gyroscope, um, one of many. So if you know how to do that, congratulations, it will help you immensely. I will teach you how to do the smear and the pendulum on its own in this tutorial. So with no further ado, if you have a set of twin hoops, then let's jump right in. All right, hoop nerds, we're gonna start with the smear. I do the smear with my non-dominant hand, which is my left hand. Of course, you can do whatever hand you feel comfortable with. We are going to start at six o'clock on the hoop. We have an inside grip. Our wrist is facing down and our left thumb is pointing to our right side. What we're going to do is a quarter of an isolation until our thumb is pointing up. We're going to fold the hoop back until it hits our body. Depending on our hoop size, um, it could either be close to your shoulder or closer to your ribs, okay? And what we're gonna do is continue folding the hoop back until our hand is basically up in the air. And we wanna keep our hands here uh, the whole time that we are having the hoop behind our back. So while trying to keep our hands here, we want the hoop to touch our right um, shoulder blade or upper shoulder depending on your hoop size. I just upsized my hoop so I try to get used to the lingo but it is touching my left shoulder or my um, native side, whatever hand the hoop is in, native side, mid back, right side then it's going to fold over and when it begins to touch my opposite shoulder or arm that's when the hoop begins to leave um, up and it begins to come back in front of us and now the hoop is in front of us and we are going to do a quarter of an isolation until we are back to start so basically we are doing a half of an isolation but it's easier to teach it with your hands starting at six o'clock so we do a quarter of an isolation, a fold until our hand is up and our elbow is basically pointing up. We have the hoop touch the back the whole entire time, depending on what part of the back it is. Then we bring it in front, it's touching my rib cage or maybe if your hoop is smaller, your upper breast. And then you bring it in front to do quarter of an isolation. Now practicing these clean smears are very important. Uh, we are not doing this with the hoop, we are actually smearing the hoop around us. So if it helps when you bring the hoop in front for the hoop to touch your belly or wherever, depending on your hoop size, having it make contact with a part of your body the whole time, if that helps you make it nice and clean and crisp, if you've never really mastered this move before, then go on and do that. <laughs> but I'm just gonna step so that you could see that my hoop is actually making contact with my back the whole time. Always when I'm smearing, always when I'm gyroscoping or doing a variation of the gyroscope. So now that you know how to smear, that is what our left hand will be doing. All right, so now we are going to discuss the pendulum, which is what our right hand is doing. So if it's easiest, Start with your hoop at six o'clock with an inside grip, just like our other hand, and fold the hoop all the way down so the hoop is framing our legs and we have an outside grip. The pendulum is an outside grip. That's what makes this move fun and that's what uh, opens up a huge window of opportunities with this move. So once you have an outside grip on your hoop with your right hand, your thumb should be facing the left side 
and your wrist should be facing down. What we are going to do is this. So what we are doing is basically hitting three key points to make an upside down triangle. So we begin with the bottom point. We lift the hoop up to our native side to do the top right point. Then we float the hoop over uh, so our arm is stretched out across to hit the last point that is on top to bring the hoop down again and you are back to start and you're hitting the bottom point again. And so if you notice, my arm starts down and I'm basically making a huge circle with my arm, keeping an outside grip with my wrist facing down the whole time. And once you get how to do this, you want it to look as non-jaggedy as possible. You want it to look nice and smooth and make it look like it's floating, basically. Okay? This is what a pendulum is with one hand. It is always an outside grip. If I am not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. So if you have this down, then let's put both hands together. We're going to have an inside grip to begin with both hoops. Our hands will be at 6 o'clock. We want our left wrist to sit on top of our right wrist so that the hoops are in this beautiful layered effect to begin. And it's actually, our wrist is actually sitting on top of the other wrist, okay? Six o'clock, left wrist on top. What we're gonna do with the hoop that's in front or the hand that's on the bottom, which is our right hand, is we're gonna do that fold down so that it is framing our legs. And now if you notice, our right hand is in an outside grip and our left hand is in an inside grip. Our thumbs are pointing away from each other, okay? And they're the hoops are basically stacked on top of each other. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take the hoop that is framing our face with the inside grip and we are going to quarter isolate and then begin to fold our smear back till it hits our body. And if you notice our bottom hoop, which is penduluming, which is our right hoop, it is at the bottom of the upside down triangle. So we want our hands to stay together the whole time, just like when we are doing a normal gyroscope. We always want our hands close together. And for an inside grip and an outside grip, uh, during this move, it is very easy to keep your hands together the whole entire time. So let's begin by uh, isolating a quarter of the way and seeing what happens with our outside grip or bottom hoop. It lifts up. So we are going to reach the top point of the pendulum. We are going to fold the hoop back of our smearing hoop. And as it smears behind our back, we are going to make the top of the triangle. And when we begin to reach the smear to our opposite side, we are reaching our pendulum to its last point, which is the top opposite point. And then when we reach the top opposite point, we are going to do the quarter of the isolation back to start with our smearing hoop, because we just brought it in front, while we bring our pendulum back down to start. So of course we are just making a triangle with our pendulum and a smear with our left hand. And together the smear goes perfect by doing a quarter of an isolation. You can drag your pendulum up. You can drag your pendulum to the opposite corner of the triangle point. When we smear the whole entire hoop on the back of our back, then when, when we be, <laughs> then when we begin to bring the hoop in front, our smearing hoop in front again, to do the quarter of the isolation back to start, we bring our triangle outside pendulum hoop back to the bottom point. How cool is that? And the more you practice this, the more flawless you can make your smear and the more perfect bouncy you can make your pendulum. 
Of course, you could practice doing your pendulum whatever way you fancy, but I absolutely fell in love with this move and I discovered it um, for many reasons because there are so many variations of the gyroscope and just adding an outside grip to one of the hoops completely um, just opens up a window. It blows my mind all the different moves you can do with it. So of course the pendulum um, is also very important to learn with twin hoops. So I hope that you um, get that move down nice and crisp and clean. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. That's it. Just practice guys. A lot of people learn, I know I've said this a million times, a lot of people watch a tutorial, they learn a trick and then that's it. But they never finish um, the trick which is cleaning it up. That's the last step of the learning the trick. Not just learning it, but having it nice, clean and crisp, especially with twin tech or triples. You want nice, clean moves and lines. So don't just learn this move, guys. Don't just practice this move until you've got it down. Practice it until it's nice and clean with the smear touching your back the whole time, keeping your hands together the whole time, making your pendulum hit every point of the triangle. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I do give Skype lessons if you're interested in learning some fun, quirky tech. Leave a comment below or DM me on Instagram if you have any questions about that. Follow me on Instagram and show me your variations of the pendulum versus the smear. I would love to see them. My name is Miss Maynard Keenan. Check out Festival Treasures Etsy shop. They are my wonderful sponsors. Um, use my code VEGANHOOPER for 10% off of your hoop or item purchase. And have a beautiful summer day, guys. Practice, practice, practice makes perfect. I love you. God bless. And happy hooping. Mwah.